Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today I'm going to be going over all the handbags that I plan on taking with me on my trip to Italy. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but today we do have kind of like a travel-y type video. So if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea that I would ask you to consider, click in the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys without any further ado let's get on into the video so yes if you did not know me and Raph my husband are going back to Italy tomorrow today is Sunday it is November the 12th and as I'm filming this and we leave for Italy tomorrow actually this video will be posted on the same day so you'll see it on the same day so tomorrow we leave for Italy. We're going basically to see his family, specifically his mom. She's been going through some stuff, so we just wanted to go see her. He has his passport now, which is fantastic. As you know, that's why we went to Detroit. I wanted to go over the bags that I plan to take with me this time around in Italy. And I'm also gonna be like telling you if I have any bags on my radar or anything in general on my radar to pick up while I'm over there, if I plan to. I do have three bags that I want to take with me this time. I just kind of wanted to take three this time and make it a bit simple. I didn't want to like carry too many bags this time around so but the three that I do have I think are fantastic. So the first one I'm gonna share is has been my everyday bag for a little while since my Celine bag is still in New Jersey being repaired. I don't know when the hell I'm gonna get that bag but since it's still being repaired I have made this bag my everyday handbag and I'm actually really glad about it because it was a little while since I used this bag. Like up until recently I wasn't using her that much but I am really glad that I'm using her now so this is my beautiful Gucci small GG Ophidia shoulder bag and she is just absolutely stunning this one is apparently a special edition that's why it still it has this little strawberry charm you can still buy the same bag but it does not come with the strawberry charm anymore it's a different charm this will be a fantastic little shoulder carry bag like an everyday shoulder carry it'd be so stinking cute Ooh, i gotta make sure to get the crossbody strap yeah, I gotta make sure to actually grab the crossbody strap as well so I don't forget that. And I think that I can wear this pretty much all the time, really. Like, I'd be able to wear it while in Sicily. Uh, I could wear it if we end up going to Milan. I don't know what we're gonna even do while we're over there. Like, I know we're staying in Sicily for a while. We might end up going to Milan. That'd be super cool because I have not been to Milan before. We might, depending on how everything goes with his mom, we might make a trip to Paris or London. We don't know yet everything's very up in the air but this bag right here would definitely fit all of those places you could take this bag anywhere and it would be just a really nice bag it fits everything it goes with everything I'm not gonna have any issues styling this bag or anything like that so that's great and then number two I'm carrying my little baby Nano Speedy. I'm so excited about it. I took the charm off because I didn't want the charm to like scratch the bag or anything while I was in my carry-on. I am so happy to be carrying this to Europe. It's gonna be such a cutie little handbag that it's, I'm just so happy with it. I can't wait. And again, this could also be a literally every single day bag. Anytime that I want to carry this, I can. I do have the crossbody strap for this inside of this bag. It's just gonna be literally a perfect handbag. I would carry this one mostly top handle because I love carrying this little baby bag top handle. But if I wanted to carry a crossbody, I could do that as well. And I just think this bag would go with so many of my more casual outfits because I am going to Italy in the winter. Like it will be getting more into the winter season while we're there so once we get there it'll still be relatively warm it'll be probably like 70 75 but maybe at night it gets down a little bit lower and you can wear like a light sweater or something this would be so cute with that now in December if we do go to Milan or Paris or London of course it gets freezing so I packed some light stuff and I packed some more like full-on winter clothes as well this would look cute with literally either of them. I haven't actually carried this little baby in a little while, so it will be really nice to carry her again and just to get like her some use. I'm just so excited to take her to like the cafe and to like to go shopping or something. It's just gonna be so cute. This is gonna be the second bag 
that I carry with me. And if you've seen any reviews on this bag that I've done, this bag actually fits a decent amount of stuff. You know, for the size that it is, it's actually very, very small, but it does fit a really good amount of stuff. And then number three, you guys, it actually took me a while to decide if I wanted to carry this bag because I wanted to carry my Fendi baguette, but if you know, it is the multicolor embroidery bag and I just, I was worried about taking that bag with me. Not because I don't like it, I love that bag, it's so nice, but I honestly was worried about taking it on like an international flight. <laughs> I just don't want it to get hurt. I don't want it to get ruined. If you haven't seen it, let me go grab it so I can show it to you real quick. Here is my beautiful, lovely Fendi baguette. Again, I adore this bag and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's quite light and it's embroidered. It's fabric. So we have to be very, very careful about getting like food on this, about getting like anything on this because I don't want it to be ruined or damaged in any way and i don't want the embroidery like the threading to come out so she's gonna stay here and maybe i will take her out next time i don't know but she's gonna stay here for this time and the bag that i picked in its place a lot of you are probably gonna go well that's not any better kinsey i don't know i just i think it is even though this bag is also relatively fragile. I haven't had any issues with it. I know it's in my Gucci dust bag, but it's not a Gucci. I'm actually bringing my Chanel with me. I'm gonna bring my Chanel Classic Flap. I have not brought this bag to Italy at all because the last time I went to Italy, I did not even have this bag. So I'm really excited to take this one with me. This is my small Chanel Classic Flap. It is a vintage Classic Flap. This will be really great if we're gonna go out to dinner or have nights out. This will be fantastic for that. And also, I just can't wait to rock this in Milan. We're probably gonna end up going to Milan if everything goes well with his mom, but I just can't wait to wear this in Milan. I can't wait to wear this in Paris. I'm just really excited about it. So I am gonna be taking her. She honestly doesn't fit that much. She's a small bag. Like she's really relatively small so I can't carry as much in her as I can my Gucci bag but that's okay she's not meant for like an everyday carry anyways I'm only gonna be taking her out on special occasions but I'm really excited about it she's gonna go to Europe this is where she's from I, of course I am worried about her getting damaged but the thing is is that I haven't I don't think she will like I'm very careful with my bags especially these ones that are vintage and and she's lambskin as well so like I really think that I can take good care of her and that's it for the bags that I'm gonna take with me are there any bags that, that are on my radar that I want to get while I'm over there yes there is but I'm only going to limit myself to one of them the first one being the Lady D Joy I know that I sold my Lady Dior a while ago but I really, really, really love the Lady D Joy. It's kind of like the East West Lady Dior. It looks exactly the same as the Lady Dior, but except of it being a square, it's like a rectangle. Cassie Thorpe has one in the medium size in blue, which is beautiful. And Alyssa Lenore has the black patent in the small. I want to get the medium size because I would be able to fit way more things in there. And it has a shoulder carry strap which i am so obsessed with of course it has a crossbody but it, i'm just so happy with the shoulder strap that it has it makes it so much more casual i want to get one that i can wear all the time i love the look of the djoy but i want to get a color and like a color story that I know that I would wear often. My biggest issue with my Lady Dior was the color. It was in like a blush pink and I just don't wear colors like that. And also it felt a bit too formal for me because you could only top handle it or crossbody it. So I just never ended up wearing it, which I'm usually always fine with top handling bags, but I, maybe it was the shape. It was very structured. It seemed very much a lady bag, which I don't really, I mean, I am a lady, but like I'm not that fancy or like elegant. So I never ended up wearing it. The D-Joy, however, since it's that different shape, I feel like it's much more casual. It's much more kind of like throw on and go. I'll definitely get it in like a dark color, black, or if they have like a dark brown, that, oh God, if they had a dark brown, that would be done. I love it. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the colors. They do have like an all matte black one, you know, like the matte black 
leather matte black hardware matte black strap it's like the blackout one it's all matte black which that one would be really nice as well but i would kind of miss that little touch of gold in the hardware we'll see and if i can't find one that i'm just obsessed with over there then i'm just not gonna buy one i'll look around now i'm also gonna look at louis i'm gonna look at prada i'm gonna look around and just kind of see what i find but you guys those are the three bags that I'm taking with me to Italy. I will be vlogging in Italy. I'm not going to do like weekly vlogs or anything because I see that people don't really watch those as much. So if you don't like those, then I won't do them. So I might just do one vlog while I'm there and encapsulate like the whole thing. So it will be a little while before I post my next video. This one's going out today and then maybe I'll post the vlog sometime while I'm there. Then probably like a week into being there or something. And then whenever I get back uh, to the States, then I'll start posting regularly again. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of the bags that I chose to take with me to Italy. Just let me comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and be sure to dig a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and I will see you in the next video. Bye!